See, I just thought I would, um, hello everybody, I just thought I would uh, do a little video here to show you um, a technique that I, uh, I don't know whether anyone else has shown, but uh, I've decided that I need to make pockets for a album. I'm making a, a school book albums for two of my great nieces and I'm doing from grade uh, kindergarten on the cover to the graduation on the back cover. But in the meantime I thought I'd start off with making the base pages and including in those base pages I wanted to put pockets so that their parents could put in report cards and artwork etc etc. And usually the flat pockets just don't have enough um, enough room for some of the stuff that your kids will bring home from school. So I was just going to show you, this is one of the pages I've completed. This is grade uh, two and there'll be a few more things on it and I also have uh, the first grade and they again it's an accordion pocket and I haven't had to make any uh, flaps to attach it to the, the pages. So I thought I'd just go through that with you and show you how I do it. I've got my paper uh, attached to the base of the, the uh, album for grade four. And what I have here is pieces of paper that I've already cut. And these are eight inches by three and a half inches. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my bone folder out and I am going to score the pages at exactly one, oh, this into frame, a half inch for the bottom. So that'll give me the bottom flap. So I do that along the, uh, the long side of the eight and the narrow is at three and a half at the top. Turn the cardstock the opposite direction going to score it at half an inch then I'm going to score it at three quarters of an inch then I'm going to score it again at one inch and then I'm going to move along the cardstock to seven inches and score it score it at seven and a quarter then seven and a half and the last half inch is going to be the flap Next thing I do, I'll take my score bed out of the way, is I take the sequang tape. This I'm using is the half inch. Some people would probably prefer the quarter at this, but it just fits in the bottom half inch here. So and I'm not too worried about getting it to the end because I'm going to cut those off, but I do want to make sure it falls right between the score lines and the edge of the uh, pocket. So I'll just carry it along, tear it off there, do the same thing on the little half inch areas on either side of what is going to eventually be the flap that attaches to the pages. And I carry on right up to the top there. So I'm going to use my scissors to try to get a clean cut. Then I flip it around and do the same thing on the other side making sure that I get it as close as I can to the edge and along the side here. And again, I just tear it off at that side there. Next thing I do is, is I take and I angle it all the way into where the flaps are going to be, just to give it a, a less bulk. And I cut off again, making the tag flag ends on them. And I do the same thing on the bottom. And again on this side, just to take away some of the bulk when you're folding your flaps in. And I also like to do just a little bit. I've got to carry it right again to the inside edge there. And just a small bit again on the top of that one there. Next thing I do is, is I take my bone folder and I fold up the bottom edge making sure I have it burnished well and giving myself a good crease. Fold it in all the way to the, the edge of the, where the flap will be. Then where that quarter inch line is, fold it back, fold it back again. And again, make sure you burnish both sides very well. Do the same thing on the other side, burnishing along the back, folding that back, according it in giving yourself again a good crease. 
Then what I do is, is I remove the Su Quang tape. And if somebody can invent something that doesn't do that. And I close it down here just so that I know that the pocket is uh, going to have a deep pocket at the bottom. It, it gives lots of room that way. And again, the same thing on that side. And then I pull off the bottom, off my little pocket. And then I line it up as best as I can, making sure I have the right page. So this is going to be, yes, that's grade three. This is grade four. So it'll be a back page. And try to just sort of center it along the bottom here so that you um, have a nice pocket. So now you have your pocket here. And all that I'm going to do for the rest of this uh, page so far, I probably add additional embellishments, is I'm just going to glue along. I've already cut this to length and to width so that it'll fit on my uh, edge. And I'm just leaving my scallop just hanging over the edge at the top there, just a smidge. So that's that. Adding my person. I was thinking of using pop dots on these, but uh, decided that because it is on a, on the outside of the pocket, it's probably a good idea just to put her in the middle of it. Actually, I'm going to move her over to the side because what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to use the um, uh, palette. Uh, what do they call this here? Yeah, a uh, palette, I guess it is, for painting, the painting palette, and put that here over onto uh, more into the middle, and then the brush will go along the side. And the last thing will be the grade four indicator on the page. And as I said, I'm probably going to do other things on these pages to, to decorate them. But the thing is, is that I just thought that this would uh, be a start. So there's my page ready to be uh, into the book. It's going to have an open top flap. And I'll probably put something over here, but just trying to give it enough room so that when the mother puts the uh, little pages in here, and you didn't have to add any extra flaps. Hope that helps.